Today we're looking at why it's customers that are changing the way personal banking is working for them. The passwords we all struggle to call to mind daily will soon become a thing of the past. Instead, mobile technology is surging ahead, verifying personal identities using the biological uniqueness of each and every human being with biometric authentication. It's nothing short of a digital revolution. In just a few years' time, mobile transactions will be all about who you are rather than what you know. Let's talk to Toby Rush, CEO of Zolos. I'm Paula Middlehurst and welcome to The Business Debate. Toby, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. It's great to be here, Paula. Thank you for having me. Now, this is an amazing, fast-moving technology everyone's clearly fascinated with. Why is who you are so much more important for the future than what you know? Sure. So, Paula, you and I can sit here and we know who each other are. I know you're Paula, you know that I'm Toby, but when we're engaging online, we're engaging on these devices, it's really hard to know who is who. Right? But the, everyone knows the world is moving towards mobile. So the two things that you do all day long with your phone is you touch and you look at your phone. So what we've done at Zolos is capture those two things. Right? So simply by looking at your phone, we use that selfie camera to transform a picture of your eye into a key that's replacing your password. And then we use how you hold your phone, how you use your phone, as a way to increase and maintain that level of confidence throughout that entire session. So can you show me how this works? Absolutely. So instead of a password, I'm just going to hit my little icon. And that's it. That's all I had to do. That's it? That's it. So quick. Yep. And we know customers love it, don't we? Because the figures in Asia, we know the Asian populations are fast adapters of uh, innovative technology, and it's really revolutionized the way payments and transactions are made there. It is. You know, Asia is really interesting. So we do a lot of work over in Asia, and they've completely skipped the laptop and the PC area. So everything they do is via mobile. Right, so they've had to have a way to be able to have this strong kind of security with great convenience. Right? So we have over 130 million users at Zolos. Almost all of those are in Asia. So when you look to see kind of the future of innovation, the future of biometrics and identity, uh, look to Asia because they're really leading the, the pack. Let's talk about the pitfalls of passwords, memorable questions, all those things we have sure. to call to mind daily on a boring basis, really. Why are those weak and why will they be a thing of the past? Sure, so you think users hate friction, right? They don't like things that are hard. Passwords are hard, passwords are friction. So users make small passwords, easy to remember passwords, and they use those same passwords across all of their sites, right? And so though it's inconvenient, it's horribly insecure. Right? And so as you engage more and more digital applications, as you use your phone more and more, your digital life scales, but passwords fail at that very instant. Right? So passwords simply don't scale in the digital world that we live in, but when you can simply be authenticated by being authentic using biometrics, then it works. You mentioned security. Obviously, that's the watchword. That's everybody's prime concern. How do we know this is spoof-proof? Great question. So with that, we, we, we call it financial grade. Right? How do you create a biometric platform that's financial grade? And that has three pieces. The first is accuracy. Right? I have to have good matching accuracy. I have to have the ability to detect a spoof. It can't be a picture. It can't be a video. I have to know that it's really a real human in front of that device. And third is security and privacy. You have to respect the privacy and the security of the user. How long will it be then, Toby, before we're looking back at passwords and memorable questions and chuckling to ourselves at just how weak they were? It is. You know, we have 50 banks and 130 million users using biometrics today, not using passwords. And so we're kind of at the forefront of seeing how big this wave is coming. And I think it'll be here quicker than we think. It'll be less than three years. And we get the question a lot of, will passwords ever go away? Like, will they completely die? And I don't think that they will, but I think the order of magnitude, the scale with which we use passwords, will be similar to how many physical pieces of letters we receive. And when you think about how many physical letters you receive in a day versus email, text, you know, Facebook, Twitter, messaging, all the digital forms of communication dwarf the physical. Right? And I think that will be the scale of biometrics versus password usage as we go forward into the future. Toby Rush, very interesting to talk Thank to you. you Thanks very much indeed. Well, that's all for now. Join us next time on The Business Debate when we look at artificial intelligence and human capital. But for now, from me, Paula Middlehurst, at the London Stock Exchange Studios, it's goodbye and thanks for watching.